On FBI, brought to you by DigiKey. Thanks, DigiKey. This week it is ST Alladiator. What is this week's new product introduction, also known as FBI? This week's INMPI is going to be on the ST25 T series. The um, ST25 is uh, ST Microelectronics um, NFC reader tags, communication devices, and the T is their tags. Um, I've historically used, you know, NXP and other company tags, but I'm excited to see ST getting into the space and offering a lot of cool options in NFC tags because more competition is good. And of course, they bring their own, um, you know, spice and uh, innovation to the mix, which I'll, I'll show off some of the cool things that they've got here. Um, but this tag kit has a couple of each of their tags, and these are NFC Forum 5 tags, which is the latest technology. Um, but even my phone that's like four years old had no problem reading them. So um, ST has a full line of, uh, you know, we even stock like their dynamic tags, they have um, passive tags, as well as chips for reading and writing, um, RFID, HF, 13.56 uh, megahertz. Um, so NFC is like a kind of RFID, but it's not just reading and identify, you can write data as well, which makes it great for um, small data logging, customizable, um, crypt, you know, cryptologically signed, um, information, tamper um, detection, asset management, logging. Um, you do have to be kind of close to read from the tags because the way they work is there's a little chip in the middle and I'll, you know, I'll show you some tags um, in a bit. And you know the tag body has um, a thin wire antenna that kind of is usually like one square inch to uh, four square inch in size. And then when the reader gets close, like from your phone or from like a tap to pay device, um, the electric field that is emitted from the, the reader is picked up by the antenna and it's used both for powering the chip. So you don't need an external battery and it's very, very thin because there's no battery to manage and you don't need solar and you don't need, um, you know, light or anything for a solar panel. Um, and it's also used for reading and writing data. So, you know, these modern tags, they read and write data very fast, like five milliseconds. So really you can tap to get all the information. You don't have to sit there and hold it. It's very, very fast because it's over 13.56 megahertz. Um, I just love this. You know, it's like, this is like the dream. Like Tesla had this dream of wireless power uh, that, you, you know, you use radio or you could use um, radio for powering stuff. But like, I feel like every day we honor him by using RFID tags. Um, so this series is the ST25T. V, which is the um, five tag. So the new stuff that comes in form type five is it's more efficient, which means the antennas can be smaller. Um, and also it means that for the same size antenna, you can read it from farther away, which is kind of nice. Um, they've kind of figured out more, you know, the encryption has gotten much, much better. So you can really trust that if you're using the secured versions of these tags that you'll get, uh, long-term data retention and secure data retention. So um, up to 60 years. So you can really use this for like long-term asset tracking. Um, what's nice is because it has internal data, you know, I think 250, 260 bits or, or two, two kilobits, um, you can have all the information you need instead of having like a barcode or a QR scan and that has to go to some external database that then maps the ID code to like the actual product or the data that you want to store. You can actually store all the data you want, um, like location or last inventory count or whatever on the tag itself, which is of course always great, like less duplication of data. Um, one thing that I thought was cool is I've used NFC tags before, but this is the first time I've seen a tamper detect register. So the way this works, um, I didn't screenshot it, but the, instead of having two contacts, there's actually four contacts. So two contacts on the chip are used for the antenna and the other two are for a tamper resistant wire. And when the wire is broken, um, the chip, you know, it's the loop is open and knows that it was, um, the sticker was ripped or moved. And I was thinking about like tamper detection, like often you're using it to tell if a box has been opened. Um, and when you remove the sticker, like it says void or something, like there's, there's some residue left over. So you know that um, the sticker was removed and you can't remove it like plain plastic tape and, and put it back. But the problem is that you're then relying on a person to look at it and notice that it was tampered with. Like you need um, a trustable human 
And of course, if that human is tired or not paying attention or, you know, is it, is it on the grift, they'll say, oh, no, it wasn't tampered. What I like about this is it's loggable. So if you're doing asset management, you want to make sure that the box wasn't opened or um, it's used for medication or whatever, you want to make sure that the box wasn't opened or um, tampered with, you can, you know, and you have a, a, an NFC reader that's doing the um, asset tracking for you, it will detect the, the tampering. You don't have to worry about like a, a fallible human because the wire is so thin that anytime somebody moves the sticker, it's going to break. I'll, I'll show the, the tamper resistance um, over the uh, over the overhead in a little bit. Um, so that's kind of cool. So it's like a, a new feature that they've got. Um, Coming up a couple different uh, setups, again, either 512 bits or two, two kilobits, different package sizes, different capacitance. The capacitance is going to affect the um, and maximum antenna size. So you want to match the antenna with the capacitance. Small capacitance, I think, is probably going to be smaller antennas. Um, but you you know, you want to be matched up so that um, you get the most efficiency. So you can't tune the capacitance, but you can pick which one you want. Um, most of the time, you're going to get tags that are pre like formatted. Like you're not going to worry too much about the packaging or the um, creating that tamper resistant wire. You're going to buy ready to go tags like from Tag Stand, who is the, the partner for TI. So let's go to the overhead and I'll show off some of these options. So first is like the standard cards. The cards always work um, the, you know, the best at high distances. And then if you want to read these tags, I'll be honest, you can use the ST um, app, but I really like NFC Tools. It's an app on the, um, in the App Store for both Android and iOS. Um, so this is the uh, Series 2. And then this is the tamper resistance. So you can see here, this is the wire. Uh, so let's try reading this. I don't think it's going to know about the tamper resistance. I think for that, you need to use a um, the ST app. But it does have all the information in it. And then, of course, you can... Um, Write to the tag. So for example, I want to add like a URL and then I'll say, you know, st.com and then, okay. And then let's write it. Let's see if I can write this. I have a case on. Okay. Yeah. So that worked. So then let's try reading it so then when i read it it's like oh i detected a url tag and then when i go to it it takes me to sd.com so um easily writable with like any any phone and any app unleashing the power of ai um so yes yeah, so these these are the uh i guess when you you know if this if this breaks there's like a little wire inside yeah here you can see it it's a little wire so now that tag when you read it it'll say it was um it was uh, broken. And then there's on metal tags. So, you know, if you have a, a metal box or um, a storage container, um, type two, type five tags, different sizes. Of course, like I said, you know, the, um, the bigger the antenna, the farther the distance. Um, so you can see here the, the size. Actually, these, these antennas are quite small, but they work pretty well. And then um, I guess you can, uh, you want custom printing you talk to tag stand and they'll be able to pry these for you probably on a you know gigantic reel and the chips themselves you can buy them from digikey although like i said honestly you'll probably get them prepackaged. but the um they're only like 20 cents a piece so you know you can basically make a smart tag um for very little money and like i said being able to store the temperature logging data or the you know the date codes or whatever on the device it means that you don't have to worry about a separate database getting synchronized up so check out to get the um get the bag tag tag bag kit. So you get like I think twenty different tags. Oh wait, there's this this one was cool. Actually, I didn't. I forgot to look at this one. So this one this has an LED. Okay, so let's try this out. Hold on. I thought I was done, but I'm not. Oh, that's cool. Saw that. Yeah, flash. Yeah. I'm like not not too close. There you go. If we get close, it's like okay, I'm reading. So cool. yeah, so you can like I guess showing how it's so efficient that you, not only can you uh, read from it, but it can um, light up three LEDs at the same time. Kind of neat. Yeah, and this is the two pad version. So nice, nice big and flat, and then a nice big antenna. Okay. Cool demo. All right, available on Digigay.
yep in stock uh pick up these uh tag packs and then of course uh chat with st and they'll they'll hook you up with a vendor that will give you the tags and the size and format you need especially if you want those tamper resistant wires built in because that's like a specialty for st all right and that is item again this week Hi, on NPR.